Hi everybody, it's Jetta, Health Promotion Specialist in Gagetown. I hope you were able to tune in to Anne's presentation on mental fitness exercises. This is an add-on to that presentation. I've collaborated with Anne so that I can take what exercises she spoke about in the presentation and give you a little bit of extra practice. So this is an opportunity to revisit those mental fitness exercises and see what works best for you. So the benefits for tactical breathing are listed on the side of your screen. The best thing to do is to remember a magic number. Whatever that number is for you, depending on how long it takes you to have a big inhale and then empty your belly and exhale it fully. So for me, that's a four. The magic number of four is a good place to start. So you inhale for the count of four. One, two, three, four, a little pause. And then exhale, completely empty your belly for one, two, three. Four. Repeat this four times whenever you feel stress creeping up on you. Kibosh that stress response with this tactical breathing. So next we have grounding. And grounding is an opportunity for us to reset our brain and show our thoughts who's boss. So we can do this by using our five senses. So take the opportunity to take a few minutes or a few seconds, whatever it is for you, and name five things that you can see. So just look around five things that you can see, focus on those things. Next, four things that you can hear. So maybe it's something in the distance, maybe it's the humming of the AC or the heat, four things that you can hear. Three things that you can smell. Maybe it was lunch earlier, maybe it's grass, maybe it's spring ground. Two things that you can feel, and one thing that you can taste. Regain focus by using the five senses. Next we have mindfulness. What does it mean to be mindful? It's an opportunity to be present and to enjoy the moment. So that can look like many different things. It could be enjoying the new spring sunshine and the warmth of your skin, closing your eyes and paying attention to how that sun makes you feel. It could be enjoying a good meal. So some of that Easter chocolate that just was around, you know, putting that chocolate in your mouth, letting it melt, feeling the texture, enjoying the moment instead of just gobbling it down in 30 seconds. Take your time and what is it exactly about chocolate that you love? This is an example of mindfulness. Slow down, recognize that you are in the moment, being present, and what it is about that moment that makes you feel the way you feel. So positive self-talk. Have you ever heard the saying, you are what you say you are? Oftentimes we believe what we tell ourselves, especially if we tell ourselves that thing often. So if we speak to ourselves positively, um, the outcome will likely be more positive. So saying things like, I've got this, I can handle this, that is positive self-talk. Even if something is challenging or difficult, it's okay to recognize that and then tell yourself that you've got it. For an example for this might be, this will be a hard test but I'm going to study, I'll be prepared, and it will be okay. Positive self-talk can go a long way. So remember that practicing mental fitness exercises will help you to kibosh stress should it arise. And also remember that practice makes perfect. So pick one or more of these mental fitness exercises to kind of hone in on, and when stress comes creeping up, you've got something to combat it. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you.